I've spoken on many issues facing this House, but nothing I've spoken on is more important than protecting American lives. I beg for common sense reforms that prevent children from being shot while playing at a playground. I've begged, I've pleaded, I've screamed, I've cried, I even ground the people's house to a halt with last year's historic sit-in. And what answer was I given? Was I given answers to take home to grieving mothers and police widows? Was I able to tell them their loved one's death isn't in vain, that we were going to do something to save the next life? No. I was met with silence and worse and active effort to silence my voice and the voice of millions of Americans. So I asked myself, why? What's the issue? Why can't I, an elected representative of the American people who draws my authority directly from the United States Constitution, get something done to save lives? Why can't we get a vote on common sense, life-saving legislation that is supported by 90% of Americans and more than 70% of the NRA members? Mr. Speaker, tragically, the answer is simple. It's greed. Mr. Speaker, what's the cost of your inaction? It seems that $5,950 you took from the NRA matters more to you than the 7,490 Amer 90,000 Americans, 7,490 Americans, excuse me, we've already lost this year to gun violence. Mr. Speaker, the American people deserve to know that just 79 cents for an American life is the cost of your silence and inaction. Well, Mr. Speaker, it might be easy for you to ignore the connection between those dollars and the lives lost, but I cannot and I will not ignore it. I will Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.